Welcome to Quick and Dirty, where I take a couple of minutes to give my thoughts on a game. This week, Soma. Soma's the newest release from Frictional Games, a studio most well known for being a contributing factor to the recent resurgence of survival horror. Soma's their fantastic follow-up to their last release, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. It was a somewhat controversial release that split their fanbase, half calling it a worthy follow-up to Amnesia The Dark Descent, and half calling it a glorified walking simulator with little to no spook factor whatsoever. But with Soma's release, we see that Frictional have done nothing but improve on their previous games. It also teaches us some things that the survival horror community should take note of. Soma sets up a great narrative and a world that is incredibly creepy and oppressive on its own. It doesn't rely on cheap jump scares and loud noises like some other games would. Soma's actually quite special in the fact that most, if not all, of the horror is existential. It has you question every interaction you have and every decision you make. It has you asking, was that the right thing to do? It also presents some of the best moral choices I've seen in gaming in a long time, because it doesn't paint its choices as binary good guy bad guy options. A lot of times you won't know if you did something truly terrible until after you make the choice. And even then, it might still have to have been done. Oh, and speaking of scaring, quick trigger warning. Make sure you know what you're getting into when you play this game and are hydrophobic. Some of the environments might give you some panic attacks. That's not a detractor to me though. I want to feel unsafe and uneasy when I play a game like this. Some survival horror developers think that just because the game is going to scare us, that it's an excuse to skimp on the story, like we'll be too scared to notice the hanging plot threads and holes. While it's certainly true that suspension of disbelief is enough to make some people ignore problems like that, it can sometimes be enough to really take me out of a game's mood and I'll be too busy wondering about that one thing to get scared by the monsters. And in case you can't tell, all that buildup is for me to say that Soma doesn't really have any of those issues. In fact, the story is one of the strongest parts. It's solid sci-fi and it follows its own rules. It has inspirational elements from writers like Philip K. Dick and Isaac Asimov, and takes a heavy inspiration in the enemy design from artists like H.R. Geiger. Great if you're a fan of horror sci-fi, I can actually see a lot of inspiration from games like Alien and even Darkseed. There are very few detractors to the game as a whole. The main issue I had with the game is it relied a little too heavily on the formula of Amnesia and Penumbra before it, where there was a very strict point A to point B type of progression. First a bit of story, followed by a puzzle, successfully completing the puzzle makes a monster spawn and chase you. Rinse and repeat. The only reason it bugged me in this game is that the part that works the strongest, the story, sometimes takes a backseat to run from Eldritch Abomination number 46239. Some of the monsters almost feel shoehorned in to meet a scary monster quota when it really didn't need it. It's scariest when there are no monsters around. There are also some minor glitches that occur heard in my playthrough that made monsters despawn, and sometimes it just had me running through undersea labyrinths with only my footstep noises for company. Soma's great, a truly scary game that deserves to be in the library of any horror fan. My rating rests at a well-deserved 4 out of 5. It's a fine successor to Amnesia, and gets me incredibly stoked for whatever Frictional is working on next.